been watching with us so far. Come on, Rogers. It's not, I'm on Rogers. I'm in the other one. We're down to 18. Alongside Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, let's get to it. In this game, we'll see the Gonzaga Bulldogs going up against the West Virginia Mountaineers. And guys, with the semifinals in sight, the Mountaineers are looking for their key player, MP, to turn in his best performance of the tournament. And Greg, what are your thoughts on the Bulldogs right now? Well, this team looks to make the most of the inside presence of Prince Strand. They will almost always have a size of that inside and will try to leverage that on both ends of the field. You know it's coming. Sometimes it still can't be stopped. Well, it certainly should be a fun regional finals as these teams fight to keep their championship dreams alive. And you watch the way MP is able to impact the game. He could be a special player someday. And he has that star quality in the team. He just can't deny that. There's still a lot for him to polish with his game. But I foresee great things for him in his career. Pass to Booker. Back to Levin. Torres with the ball. Over to the wing. Shot clock at six. On the wing, Torres. Over Hernandez. That one a little long. MP outside. The tray. And again, West Virginia with the triple. And beginning to take charge of this game. This to be a crucial point. IQ basketball, smartphone basketball, whatever you want to call it. Even though the lead's not that large, they're still in charge right now. To the inside. They need this. Goes up with it again. Rejected by Stevenson. And he's able to get it back. And here's MP outside. Drills the three-pointer. In their history, West Virginia has only made it this deep into the tournament a total of three times. Now, they can make that four. Well, these are the eight best teams left, and that's pretty exclusive company. I'm sure other schools are no doubt in view. All right, so you're not going to Year, gentlemen, we'll be out around August. Be looking for that. Y'all know I love y'all, right? Since I love y'all so much, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give y'all a sneak peek of another song from the new album, right there. The name of this record is So You Can Cry. I hope you enjoy it. Let's go. And Gonzaga has possession. Here's Levins. Oh, and look at Strahan making the right play, kicking the ball ahead to the open man. From deep, and deep, and the Mountaineers, another three. And really setting the tone early with their three-point shoot. Greg, that's already five made triples in the first quarter. What a start. Pass to Levins. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Well, that, that's one way he can finish, but far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks up his sleeve. And here's that deep. The three is up. Six for six. He's yet to miss from the field. All these open threes they're giving him have really been the driving force of this run. And the points are starting to add up in a hurry, especially when he's giving up those looks from him. The first final eight appearance for Gonzaga, 1999. As a 10 the Bulldogs made an epic run for putting this program on the map. Really, that's one of the all-time Cinderella runs in the history of the tournament. Thanks to him, Gonzaga is the household man. MP, it's good for the second time this game. He shot seven, he's made seven. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. Yeah, Greg, you know, they're having three brains from beyond the arc. The defense is just not there. And, and guys getting into a nice groove here. Starting to feel. Well, it sounded as though, or at least it looked as though it sounded like, we'll give you a three, and then we'll take it right back. Has to keep. Fires from deep. Mountaineers with the rebound. 
You know, even though he missed that one, great shooters have a way of feeling when they've got enough room to pull the trigger. You no doubt about it. The defense, you can see him exhaling right now. Fortunate that he didn't knock that one down. Let's the three fly. And the Bulldogs with another three. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Bulldogs. So here's Gonzaga. It's a 13-point game. And the regional final that you predicted was an 18 going against the Chiefs. Both of these teams earned it with their play. And for MP and his team, they are the lowest remaining seed left alive. To come out of this region would be the icing on the cake. But anything can happen. There's always a surprise or two in the tournament. Kicks it out to MP. An automatic shot for him. Watch, he's a three. He can't get that one to fall. And the Mountaineers going the other way now. At one point, they led by 16. The three. And the Mountaineers, another three. And games like this, who MP is the real deal. He's getting any look he wants right now. From outside the arc, hits it from three point range. Teammates trust him down the stretch, guys. And this late in the tournament, the last game in the region, you really start to feel the pressure and the excitement. They're one win away from punching their ticket to the semifinals. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. But he found his rhythm from deep. The yeah, I'd be confident too. As a matter of fact, I mean, he's stacking up threes the way he is. I mean, he's doing all his work from behind the arc. Now here's Keith. He's got nine. Here's Hawkins. And again, Gonzaga with the throw. And for both of these teams, they are well aware of the stakes in this game. So many all-time great players never got a chance to play. <laughs> Game the final game from this region. Overall, one of the more wild regions we've seen in the tournament. More upsets in this part of the bracket than any other. When you talk about the Bulldogs, they've become the power of the West Coast. Over the last 20 years, Gonzaga is the only West Coast team to make a title game. So incredible when you remember their humble roots. As you said, this already a great run for an eight seed. Many had them crashing out of the tournament early on. And this team, I thought, did a great job of blocking out all that noise. Even though they've already overachieved, they're still humble and hungry. They want to be the last team standing at the end of all of this, and they're giving themselves a chance to do just that. You've got to give them a lot of credit for the job they've done on the back there. They've done a lot of things well today, but really it's about what they've done on the backboard that's at the top of that list. Gonzaga calls timeout. Now you can add your Netflix. You're on fire from outside. You've got to get yes. into his jersey. Get up into him. Force him to pass and drive. Good day. It's going to be a beautiful night. Champagne, everybody blast. And Gonzaga has possession. On the wing, Prince Strahan. Here it go. Take a good shot. And the layup is up and in. You know, when you watch Prince Strahan, you can't help but notice his sack. 
This guy just shoots up space inside, and you really can't teach that at any level. Stevenson with some nice deeds. Well defended, though, and, and he's not someone who can do that kind of pressure very well. There's Torres with a three, and again, Gonzaga with the triple. And talking about Strahan and his size, he's an absolute mountain of a man. You can't back him down or even move him once he plants on the block. He is there for the great. This team has made the most out of his interior pressure. Pearson with it, and it's Brooklyn picking him up. From deep, FP, and from the end, let's review How about all five from long range? Well, the defense just hasn't pressed up to deny any of those looks, guys. I mean, they're hanging back and getting picked apart. That one goes. Boy, the physicality of Prince helps him right here. He's able to brush off the contact and get to his thing. And he's still in the new ball. They're going back to the three-point shot over and over and over. And, and they may have found the Achilles heel of this defense. That was their ninth straight point from beyond the arc. Do not call Gonzaga a mid-major. It's small in size, but large in stature in college basketball. They've become a top five program now. For national titles. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And so here's Gonzaga. Substitution. He's outside. Good in the triple. And I don't care how far from the bucket he is. You've got to have a man on him. He's just too good from deep. From deep and deep. And the Mountaineers under three. It's just hard to believe that someone can perform at such a high level. They've got to thank him for this one. Booker, no good. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. Let's go for three. And it's MP with a three. MP showing you how dangerous he can be from deep. He knows he's got to possess a three ball at the pro level, and he's working on it. A dominating first shot to play, and so far it hasn't been close. It's the Mountaineers <laughs> delivering the blowout. The whole house. 31. And thanks for returning to our show. Round four of the college basketball tournament on 2K Sports. Second half is upon us. And what do you make of the performance we saw from MB in the first half? He's scoring with real efficiency, making it look pretty easy offensively. Great shot selection and an instinct for scoring the ball. Well, his talent level is obvious. He's having his way. Over the last few years, he has been really producing some NBA talent. A few first-round picks, including all-star DeMontis Sabonis. Levin's no good. They are in complete control. This is the ultimate definition of the Sabonis. Everything they've done has worked. I'm not sure whose fault that was, guys, but they need to get on the same page here. And here are the Bulldogs. For this Bulldog program, this uptick in NBA talent has been incredible. Really quite remarkable for a small school in Spokane, Washington, to produce so many guys of late. Brandon Clark, Zach Collins, Rui Hachimura, DeMontis Sabonis, as Greg mentioned, really an impressive alumni. Torres attacking, rejected by Hernandez. From deep, MP, six to triple. And how about the range of MP? He knows at the pro level you got to be able to knock it down from deep. Past 11s. So he draws the foul on the shot. Uh, Tip to the line, issue two. First team foul. That one on Stevenson. For Gonzaga, Zach Lowe, shooting two. And that's good as he hits both shots. They have been really controlling this one. You never want to be complacent on the floor. That's when you need to Tell you what, he has been killing these guys. And the best game plan right now, it's elementary. Just keep feeding. Let them eat. Past 11s, three-pointer, 
Kenji from downtown. Exactly. Boy, he's really been dominant in this one. Unfortunately, he hasn't had much help. From deep and peace. And the Mountaineers have never agreed. They're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five mates are from beyond the arc. And Greg, it's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Now here's Booker. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Count that bucket. And here are the Mountaineers now. From deep, MP hits the three-point bomb. What can you say? No straight He's got eight. Pass to Levin. Booker, left side. Watches it. And the Bulldogs have another three. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Greg, we've got a three-point battle taking shape here. Gets it today from downtown. These defenders have better start closing out on those shoots. That's two in a row, and we call that a streak. Here's Torres from beyond the arc. But they get it back. Another shot. Levin's no good. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that ball. Very steady with their work. Oh, yeah. Really well rounded effort. Oh, yeah. are killing them at this point. And they haven't been able to respond at the other end. Yeah, and Greg, you know the only way that's going to turn around defensively is by stopping the outside shot. Not getting into a shootout. They're not going to out shoot out this team. And, and he's really made the most of his opportunities today. I mean, he needs to keep working for those kinds of looks. And Booker, here we go. And the layup is good. Wow, you don't see him make plays like that very often. That's a nice move there for the basket. And the ball goes out of play. No! 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 And he with it, and it's Booker picking him up. Well, he wanted to return the favor there for that last three, but it just wasn't in the car. Here's Trahan. No good with the layup. And it's the Mountaineers with the ball. From deep, MP. It's good from long range. And that's just cold. Right there, he's taking no prisoners. Guys, when you're this hot, it's elementary. Let it fly. Keep staying at it. Inside, Jameson. And the bucket is good. And you're going to take as many of those high percentage shots as you can get. MP outside. Takes the three. And in West Virginia with the triple. He's had a big half from beyond the arc. This hot, the green light doesn't get much greener. Here's Crawford, and Gonzaga again with the bucket. Textbook, nice pass, great catch, even better finish. From deep, MP drills it from outside. I don't know what he did in the locker room, but he needs to do a little bit more of it because he's on fire right now. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Mountaineers. Substitution for Gonzaga. On the wing, MP connects from three point range. Yeah, just having fun right now. Yeah, offensively they've just been rolling. Impossible to stop. Levin's right side. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. And here's MP outside, and the Mountaineers another three. And they have been relentless from deep, and you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. They came out of the break just dropping bombs and just a not letting up at all. The shot no good by Jameson. 